Now, is that guy behind me chasing? Oh god, oh god, oh god, there's loads, it's like five. Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and welcome back to the Evil Within. Um, it's pretty twisted so far, not really making much sense of anything. We started off in a crime scene, then we came out of the crime scene, we fell off a cliff, we woke up in a hospital, and then we went back to the forest where we crashed, and now we're back in the hospital again. The game's flashing backwards and forwards, it seems like when we look into a mirror as well, we come to this place, so I think this is kind of like the central hub where you can upgrade yourself, because there's a chair over there, and that's where you can upgrade stuff. And there's a save point here as well. And this lady is just sitting there, just filing her nails. So, um, we'll check out this chair again. We've got this thing in the bottom left, that 1200. That's like the the requirements you need to upgrade yourself. It's called green goo, I think. So, okay, we've got abilities to upgrade. We can upgrade weapons and we can upgrade stock. Okay, that's the carrying capacity for items and ammo, I guess. So let's take a look at these. We've got life gauge, we can upgrade. Okay, we can't actually upgrade it. Points need the 2000, we've only got 1200. Melee damage. We can't actually upgrade any of this because we haven't got enough points. What about any of this stuff? Fire rate. That's not really that important. Clip capacity, that's this, this. So the important stuff critical, damage multiplier, health are all the important things. Like, So I think we should, uh, we should save up our points. Yeah, let's do that. So, where do we go now? Is there anything next in these rooms? Oh, what's this? We oh, okay. All right, yeah. So in the last part, at the end of it, we um, we looked into a mirror, and this brought us back here. So it looks like any broken mirrors with light in them. That's kind of what makes you move between the two worlds. So we're back in the shed where we were chasing that lady, and um. So we're heading back out again. Have we got a gun? Yeah, we still, we've got two bullets and our gun. So let's head out. And, um... See what we've got. We've got a lantern we can switch on and off as well. Alright, there's a hut over there. Is there anyone over there? Okay, what's that? i just seen something move. There is... A man. Now, can we do stealth kills? If he's hitting that wall, can we hit him from behind and kill him? I'm sure we picked up a knife at the start. Here we go, stealth kills. Instantly kill enemies who are unaware of you from behind. So let's sneak up behind this guy and hopefully knife him. Here we go. Knife to the back of the head. Right, right in his head, not even slit in his throat. So as well, you get a chance to burn bodies. Um, you got limited matches though. Oh god. So I'm gonna leave that guy not unburned. Unburned, I mean. So, because hopefully we are escaping this zone. I think it's only a good idea to burn bodies if you're gonna be in that area for a while or you need to do something in there. You know, but seeing as we're just moving on, chasing this lady. This is a patient that was in the hospital ambulance. And um, she's run off and she seems to know a bit about like the future or something. So um, we're gonna leave that guy unburned from behind us. Hopefully, um,. He won't come back after us, because otherwise, if you don't burn them, it seems like they actually get up and they're not dead. Even though I've crushed his brain, these are not normal people. What is this? Okay. So we can go inside here. Open up the gate. Alright, where's that lady gone? Um, there's some bottles on the ground here. Oh! So what are they? They're like zombies in a way. Are you guys from around here? I don't know where. Barbed wire came out of his face. That guy's lost most of his face. He's got bolts in his head. What? 
Um, we can burn the haystack, it looks like. I don't think that's going to be a good option, good, a good thing to do. We've only got one match left, and it requires one match to burn a body. So, um, where are we going? Are we going left, or... There's no indication telling me where to go. No waypoints or anything like that. No map, even. Shit, has he spotted me? Has he spotted me? Is he fucking... What? You what, mate? Where's the gun? Get the gun out. Uh, <laughs> shit. Burn him. Hopefully the other guy didn't hear that. <laughs> okay, we burned his body. Um, let's pick up a bottle again. So he spotted me. He came at me. We were forced to shoot him. Then, well, I think once they're down as well, you can burn them, even if like they're not like temporarily dead. You can still burn them. So that guy on the right. I think we. We can either stealth kill him, but we can't burn him, we've got no more matches. I think it's worth stealth killing him anyway, just to um, knock him down for a bit. It's kind of like a Metal Gear Solid game when you would, um, you know, do a, a choke to put them asleep. But in this, you know, stabbing them in the head is the same effect as choking someone to sleep for a temporary, um, like, takeout. So I'm just going to stab this guy in the head anyway, so we can get a bit of breathing space. Okay. Seems like it's the same animation every time you stab someone. Let's pick that bottle up again. We might need it to distract some enemies. Looks like it's clear now. What's this? There's a book like. Okay, Lakeside Town note. When did they put a lighthouse on the lake? Has it always been there? That circling light passes over me, passes through me. I feel like it takes something each uh, something away each time. I can't remember what it was though. <laughs> what is that? A mental hospital confidential file. What's it doing? I don't, I don't get this shit. So are we in... Is this the real world right here? Oh fuck, don't kick the door! Be quiet about it, you dick! Right, what is this? Is this a cupboard? Anything inside of it? Nope. So that guy outside is temporarily dead. Is that a body? Okay, that's the wrong button. Okay, there's a lady on the ground, the dead body. What have we got? Oh, matches, 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 matches. Pick up the matches. So, if that, unless that lady gets up, we can leave her, hopefully. She won't get up. What have we got here? Syringes, nice. So, um, let's use the syringe. Okay. So let's get out the back door. Hopefully, I don't even know where we're going. Um, okay, there's a trip wire here. I guess we can take the parts from that, because we're not... I think you can, like, kind of lure the, um, the zombies. Is that what you call these guys? Zombies, I guess, right? You can lure them into a trap, I think. I don't think that guy's body's even there. So we're going to go down the road from where we were originally looking. Now, I'm not too sure how good the detection is on the um, the zombies. The zombies. We've got no more pistol bullets. Is there anything in the back of this container car thing? There's not like there is. So we can, so we can actually eliminate a few enemies. Oh, as long as we um, stealth kill them. And then if we um, burn them. So this area looks like there's quite a lot here. Not too sure where we're going. There's a house over there. And um, there's a guy over there as well. I guess we could um, distract this guy by throwing a... She's not spotted me, is he? Let's throw... Oh, don't stand up and do it. Can you... There we go, you can crouch and do it. So let's throw a bottle over there. Now hopefully he'll go over there. Is he gonna move? There we go, he's moving. Woo! It's a bit close to us. Let's take him, take him out, take him out, take him out! He's looking this way! Get him! Alright, we're gonna burn this guy. Because I think the capacity max as well on the amount of ma latch the matches you can carry is five, and we had five, so we may as well use them in case we come across more. So... We're probably going to have to come back this way. Let's just check out this house. I don't really know what it is. Alright, so we're outside the house here. We can hear zombies. Looks like there's a fire outside the house behind the wall. Um, What is the guy? There's the guy right there. He's got a torch in his hand. Where's he going, though? Oh, he's on the left hand side. Maybe we can go on the left hand side when he walks backwards to where he came from. We can... Oh. We can stealth kill him. 
All right, while he walks towards the house. That makes noise. Let's stab him, stab him. All right, we're gonna ban him as well. Because it looks dangerous. Pick up the bottle. Okay, he's gone. Oh, what was that? Oh, we can pick up his torch. What for? Can you throw it? Is that a good weapon? Does it work? Let's go on top of the house. This is going to give my position away, isn't it? Like having a torch on. And um, you can break these boxes, can't you? There we go. There's nothing inside. Is this map fragment? Can we open a map now? Doesn't look like. Some more boxes over here. I don't even know if there's any zombies in here. Oh, what's this? Okay, we've got some parts. We can't actually craft anything just yet, though. So we're picking this up. Oh, there's a guy on the ground. Let's kill the guy. Let's ban him. <laughs> I don't think that's... I don't know if that's a good option, a good thing to do, to ban every enemy you see. But seeing as we're in this building and we're inspecting it around a bit, we don't want to get ambushed. I would, I would not ban an enemy on the road, but in a building, I think you should. There's some green shit on the ground. Um, okay. This, um, what have we got over this side? We've got a trap on the wall. There's a boarded up wall there. Can we open that? Let's see if we can open this. There's a body on the ground. Let's bend the body. Oh shit, he's getting up. He's getting up. He's getting up. Okay, let's run away from it. Let's shoot it. Because I don't think melee is any good. Out of ammo. Shit. What? Out of oh shit. Dude, what's this? Bullets, nice. That's actually crazy convenience. <laughs> Has he seen us? Oh, what, the blood on the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna ban him anyway. I don't. I don't think he can come back with no head. But I don't know. He's actually he's got ammo on him as well. That's good. What's he doing carrying ammo? <laughs> So let's see what else we had in this room. It seems like when we went to attack that guy as well, we dropped the torch. Oh, circle drop stuff. That's what happened, because I tried to bane him, I was spamming circle, walking at him. And, ooh, a key. What's the key used for? Okay, so I think there's still more of this building to check out. Disarm this. I think you can crawl underneath them, I guess you can. Right, oh, there's another body in there. Bullets. Um, should we ban her? Let's see if we can just pick up the stuff in the room and walk out. There's no matches anywhere, is there? Let's jump out the window. Should we just jump out the window? Let's jump out the window. So we've got one match left. Do they do with finding some more? Right, so I think we banned the guy that was outside as well, didn't we? So let's push forward and see what else we've got. I mean, is this thing in my hand any good? Is it worth holding? I don't think it's any good, you know. <laughs> Maybe we were forced into some combat with our bullets. We can melee someone and take him out. Okay, there's a guy over there. I'm going to put this torch down, I think. I'm not even going to bother carrying it. I don't know what it's used for. It's a you can't even burn bodies with it. It was no option to when I seen that body. Right, can this guy see me in the tall grass? Oh, why is he walking that way? Shit. We've got six bullets in, 12 bullets. So if he goes to the right-hand side, if he doesn't spot me, Try and sneak up behind him and knife him in the head. Oh shit. So I'm not gonna kill this guy, I'm just trying to walk on. Because hopefully, um. Pick up the bottle, bottle's better. You can throw bottles. Okay, let's see. Um, can we step underneath the trap? Yeah, we can. Uh, oh, what have we got here? Shit, there's a guy there. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god.
Okay, melee is shit. I'm burning this guy. I, I tried to have one away from the explosion thing and I ended up smashing my head into it. So that wasn't good. Let's him heal. I messed up there. <laughs> Smashed my head into a bloody trap. Like, I was trying to get him to run into it, but I ended up running into it myself. All right, we've got no more matches, so if we want to kill these guys, and um, we can't, we can't destroy them. Let's see if this guy turns around, and we'll try and go into that room and see if there's anything in there. It seems like they don't hear gunshots that well. Okay, let's let's stab this guy in the head. Right, there's some stuff on the ground there. Hopefully there's some matches we can pick up. Right, there's a uh, green shit on the ground. Did he drop anything? Did he? I don't think he did. Right, before he wakes up. <laughs> before he wakes up from the knife wound in the back of his head. He'll jump out the back window. And, um, I don't think there's anyone else outside. Right, there's a trap there. So if we get anyone coming at us, we'll try and sneak under the trap. Can you sprint, crouch? No, you can't. What have we got? There's a body there. There's two bodies. They're gonna get up, aren't they? We've got no matches. Okay. Okay, they're getting up. They are getting up. So, can we get off this? Get off there. Um, run this way, run this way. Okay, 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 okay. Now let's get under this. If we can move quick enough. Right, we're under it. We've got past it. Okay, then come this way, come this way, guys. Come this way. Oh, that's shit! That's so shit! Didn't even work! Oh my god, this guy's got no stamina. Disarming bear traps. Oh, there's a bear trap right there. Oh god. I think we killed the guy that was in this room, didn't we? So maybe if we lower them guys away? Right, yeah. So they've been lowered away a little bit. Now. Because <laughs> I, I don't... Okay. So they're behind that building, right? So let's see if we can do this thing. So it looks like if you're going to take someone through a trap, you need to have the them on the side of the dynamite. Because the dynamite exploded on the other side. So let's open this door. Hopefully they won't get they won't hear this. Right, it stays open, right? Let's go. Can we close behind us? <laughs> Shit. Oh, it's closed. It's good. That's good. That's good. All right. It's a checkpoint. Oh, checkpoint. That's not a save point, though, is it? Can you save the game with a checkpoint? I can't even see. This grass is so tall. So it's very free roam in a way. This game, like, there's many ways, paths to take and go into different buildings. It's a lot like Resident Evil 4 at the moment in this forest. So there's a hut in here. Let's see. If there's a mirror in here, actually. Doesn't look like there is. What have we got here? We've got a syringe. We'll save that before we, until we lose a lot bit more health. Okay, and then you in these boxes. Oh, I was going to try and open the... put the light on there. Okay. So, it looks like we've got something here. Another map, map fragment. I don't think we can use a map though, can we? There's no button to access a map. I always press the wrong button there. Okay, so I was hoping there would be a mirror in there so we could go in and set us over there. Is that guy dead? One of them's not dead, he's moving. The other guy looks like he's tied up to a fence. Try and sneak through this um this tall grass around those guys. Can we go around this way? Yep. It's like there's a guy over there as well eating a body. There's a guy on the right eating a body. So if we can sneak past them without alerting them. That'd be pretty good. Okay. Shall we try and just do it? shall we stab this guy and then walk past him? Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, he started to hear me then. It looked like he turned around to look at me. Now is that guy behind me chasing? Oh god, oh god, oh god, there's loads, it's like five. Shit. Better get out of here. Okay, you can't sprint for, you can sprint for like two seconds. It's terrible. Okay, better get out of here, he said. 
Now where do we go to get out of here? Okay. God damn it. Yeah, we're screwed. Where's it going? <laughs> he can't sprint for longer than two seconds, but we can do a drop kick. So zombies can't swim. Remember that. They don't like to swim. Chapter 2 clear. Save game. You just please. Alright guys, that's all we've got time for for this part. So um, I don't even know what's happening. You can't predict this game. You're just going from one shit cake to another. So um, thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.